The Hulkbuster armor is an add-on to Tony Stark's Iron Man armor. It increases the suit's strength and durability so that it could survive a fight with Bruce Banner. I mean, the Hulk, obviously. Hence why it's called the Hulk Buster. In Avengers Age of Ultron, a fight ensues between these two, and eventually the Hulk and Hulk Buster send each other a haymaker at the same time and end up locking knuckles. These two superheroes are said to be amongst the strongest in the Marvel Universe. So what would happen if they actually punched each other in real life? First of all, in my last video, I showed you that the Hulk's punch would hit you with enough force to pretty much either feel like you were hit by a jumbo jet, or hit by a grandma driving her sedan, or hit by a nuclear fusion reaction similar to that of the sun. Considering that the Hulkbuster is said to be at a similar strength level to the Hulk, when they punch each other, that could do a lot of damage. To calculate how much damage this would actually do, we're gonna use a few reference points. The first of which is the clip we just looked at from Age of Ultron. You can see as their fists collide, a visible shockwave is formed, meaning that the collision of their fists produced enough energy to make a wave that is faster than sound. Normally shockwaves are produced in massive explosions, volcano eruptions, or extremely fast moving aircrafts. But in certain cases, two extremely high energy solids that collide with each other can create a shockwave of their own. A good example of this is a meteorite impact. Now based on the size and speed of the shockwave in the clip that we showed you, it looks like this punch packed as much energy as a few kilograms of TNT. Meaning that if you were within a few feet of the punch, you would probably die. Sucks to be that guy. But that reference point we just used was created by Hollywood and it was just made to look cool. So. What would happen if we just used the character's size and speed to calculate what the punch would do? Using the character's 100 mile per hour punch speed and their 25 pound fists as a reference, we could calculate that the amount of energy contained in their punch would equate to about the same amount of energy in a few grams of meteorite hitting the earth. Not anywhere near enough energy to produce a shockwave like seen in the movie. So that brings us to our third and definitely most exciting reference point the comic books. Now again, as shown in my last video, the Hulk had many feats of strength in the comic books, including destroying an asteroid twice the size of the Earth. And the Hulkbuster in the comic books is said to have a similar amount of strength as the Hulk. Except, you know, the Hulkbuster is just less durable, can't regenerate, and has a theoretical limit to its power. But nonetheless, their strength is relatively the same. So, if the Hulk was able to destroy an asteroid twice the size of the Earth with a single punch, what if something equal in strength was able to punch back? Well, the energy released by them punching each other like this would certainly be felt on a cosmic scale. If these two superheroes punched each other with their theoretical maximum amount of strength, the energy released by the punch would be enough to break Uranus. Not like that, I mean the planets. Although technically, the other way applies as well. What I mean by that is the punch would exert more energy than the gravitational binding energy of the planet Uranus, or Uranus for those of you that like to pronounce it like that. The gravitational binding energy is the energy required to pull apart all molecules of a substance into infinity. So when I said the punch would break Uranus, I think I was underestimating it because it would literally rip apart Uranus into infinity. Oh boy. Astrophysics just sounds dirty sometimes. If you want more Science of the Avengers, you can click here to listen to the extended special edition on iTunes. And you can also just click here if you're awesome, and click here if you want to watch another science video. And for now, I hope that Uranus doesn't get ripped apart into infinity. I can't even say it. Oh god. Anyways, thank you for watching.